Whoa, looking at my drip, looking at your drip. Whoa, mommy, look at. Good morning, guys, and welcome to today's vlog. Today we are in the car. We're just gonna head over to George's to have my Botox done and my lips done. So that's going to be fun. Hopefully, she'll let us record. Not too sure how it's gonna be, obviously, because of the virus and stuff. I'm not sure what measures she's got in place and stuff like that. But yeah, anyway, it looks so fun getting in my car with a crap screen. <laughs> but I so can't wait to have it done on Monday. But yeah, anyway, we're gonna head on over there because I need to get there quick. Well, not quick, obviously I'm not gonna rush, but we've got to be there for 12 o'clock, but just messaged her and said um, that I'm on my way. She said it's okay if you're a bit late. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do this morning. Head on over there and then maybe nip to B&M's because I need to see if they've got some paint for the garden fence although it's raining so maybe won't be any point just yet what so head, um great so i'm gonna paint all the fencing grain not too sure what i'm gonna paint the like concrete slabs and stuff yet and the post maybe white i've not decided either cream or white so anyway i'm gonna get going and we'll check in once we're over at georgina's okay guys so we've just come out now so as you can see Mm, I think he wants to take, or she wants to take the front of the car off. I don't know where they're going. Anyway, so don't worry about this because I know it looks really swollen at the minute. Sorry, I just thought she was going to hit the car. <laughs> um, but this will go down. This is just swelling because obviously you've had a needle put into your lips. And then obviously I've had my Botox done. As you can see, I don't know if you can like see the little holes but this is like three areas so I've had like hair done eyebrow lift and then had it done in the side of me um face to get rid of me little wrinkly wrinkles um but yeah so this will probably bruise um but you can tell like the last time we had my lips done was about two years ago and it was georgia that did it actually but you can tell like from where she's put the filler into the new place like how small my lips have gone from when i previously had them done because you can just see where they're pink it's so weird so i'm so looking forward to these like going down and oh, i'm just i'm looking normal again because it was so good when i used to put the lipstick on and it used to look it just used to look really good didn't it <coughs> It used to have like a proper shape and used to have like the little, you know, the little like kink at the top and it used to look really good. So anyway, we're just going to head on home. I'm not too sure whether to go to... Dad just messaged you, went happy now. Um, oh yeah, Dave. Yo, with your Botox on that. Um, so we're just going to probably nip to B&M, so I'm not too sure what to do oh, yet. Can you get me a and then, there? yeah. We're gonna nip in to McDonald's now. We're just gonna nip to McDonald's to get these some dinner and. Dad's getting a Big Mac. Dad's getting a Big Mac. <laughs> we're getting McDonald's. We're getting Mac. He messaged me <laughs> and went, "Do you want to get me your Big Mac?" I was like. <laughs> oh, and then he's just messaged and said, "Are you happy now?" Well, I will be when I've got some makeup on because at the minute, I just look Mom. like I've just rolled out of bed. Mom, can I have a cheeseburger if I don't go and the Yeah, you can. So, my makeup is all over as well, so please excuse me. Like, you know, I never look like this, but there's no point in putting makeup on when you come to have your Botox done or your lips done because she just ends up wiping the, your face all over anyway, so it'd just be pointless. Usually, if I'm having my Botox done, I would like, put my makeup on because she'd only um, clean the dots where she's going to put it on thing is then I just bring my foundation brush with me well, and then just patch it I'll over when she's sh done. She's speaking. But, what darling? When we get there can I tell you what I want? Yeah you can darling. So I tell you what I want. <laughs> she's funny isn't she? Anyway we're gonna head on over to McDonald's get some food because I'm starving and me too. maybe going being and actually. And now the whole time she was like Porsche I'm hungry she always does. She makes you feel like you starve off, but we don't. Honestly. She eats 24-7. I don't know how this child has not, like, 
rolling because she has done nothing but eat and eat and eat and eat like every um, I'd say every 20 minutes dead full dead quick like every 20 minutes her isn't she like eating and I think she's just going through a growth spurt or something so that's probably why she's just eating like as much as she can get basically she literally has a dinner or a breakfast and then within 10 minutes she's starving again so we're just feeding her all the way through the day hopefully it's just like a growth spurt and it'll calm down soon so this belt is annoying your belt annoying yeah. no i need to buy one of them um cushion things, things. Like Sarah's. yeah Sarah's like a, it, don't you? for a, a yeah, cushion to go like over the belt because it just annoys her so much um and like around the way around the no did i say like that noise her? um what? around the waist and i know you have to leave it there minute darling but yeah, anyway, like I said, I'm gonna go get home and No, get my no. policy is in B and M's. B and M's and then um get McDonald's, home. First, McDonald's then home. Okay. Anyway, I'm going. See you soon. Okay guys, so we just got McDonald's and I just got a quarter pounder some chips. Even though I'm meant to be trying to like lose weight, but you know what? She, said, she did say she was gonna get the quarter pounder. I know, I was just gonna get the burger, but I thought Take your belt off darling so you can eat your food. It's a third, uh, it's a third burger of the week. I know, I had a, well we had a homemade burger Mom. yesterday. It, that was so nice. Mom. I know, with bacon. Um, Mom, I'm eating it um, when I get home. No, eat it now darling, because you just said you were hungry. Yeah, but I want to Yeah darling. Um, but yeah, so I just won't have anything else to eat later on. <coughs> But we just fought. She'll have sticks. I'll have sticks. <laughs> but no, probably won't actually because I really do need to cut down. I was watching my video back last night and I thought, God, you have put some weight on lady. You need to sort yourself out. But I know we're in lockdown and we shouldn't really be worrying about anything, you know. At least we're happy and we're alive and, you know, we're healthy and stuff like that. But yeah, we just, I don't know. I just can't help but. Well, McDonald's, I don't know if you can notice now, it's actually started bruising, um, here anyway, and just a bit at the top and a bit there, so once all the swelling's gone down off that, that will go, it'll probably take about two, three days for all the bruising to go off, but yeah, so I'll just hide it with makeup and lipstick, you won't know then, but I'll be glad when the swelling's gone, on, gone down, because at the minute it just looks like I'm like this but it won't look like once it's gone down believe me you've seen it before anyway in previous vlogs because i've had them done um before and i think yeah i think last time see it was meant to be 1.1 mil but obviously i didn't want that much that is like a mil and a half usually i'd only have like half a mil like most the majority of it in the top and tiny bit in the bottom but the last time i did have them done could have had them done this is my third time now the time before i did actually have one mil um split between the top and the bottom i think he had a little bit more in the top than he did the bottom and i think that's what she's done this time so when they do settle they will be more like pronounced and just have more shape to him especially here because my lips just seem to go really like there used to be nothing there and when it all comes out i've literally got no lips at all they just look so thin what yours like you've got your little pouty thing there aren't you <laughs> she's got really nice lips but mine used to be like that when i was younger and then as i got older i just kind of felt like i had no top lip it was almost like it was tucked in and then when he had my lips on the first time i could already see like a difference straight away it's just yeah, it's, you can probably see mine can't you yeah it's it's amazing like if there's anybody out there that's worried like about going get it done because a lot of um people do it with the proper syringe i get mine done with a botox needle now a lot of places will tell you you can't have it done with a botox needle don't believe them because you can't and it doesn't hurt literally you wouldn't even need to have the cream on your lips because it doesn't hurt that much it makes your eyes water yeah but if you had the other needle you'd be crying seriously it is so bad the first you time like you had them done a, a nice bottom lip, like, I have a really yeah that's bottom. what mine was like like just real thin on top 
um, a lot of people do use the big needles and oh my god it is torture so a lot of people have like the to, the, to, the, the blocker like the tooth tooth blocker or whatever it is can't remember what it's called now but it's like an anesthetic like what a dentist would use if you were going to have a tooth out so they block it all and then you don't feel it but what is the point in that when you can have it done with a botox needle and it not hurts much what's the biggest meal you can have you can have as much as you want in it but you'd look a bit of a clown <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't you yeah like i've seen some girls and like don't get me wrong that's holly rotten so i'm not like judging anyone you are who you are you have your body how you want to have your body um but some of them are like just not what i would yeah like just really really big it's probably uh, definitely not something i would pick um or go for but but yeah so if anybody wants to um get the lips done on the botox and you want to go to georgia let me know i can always send you her number or send you a link to a a shop well her house it's her it's shop, really nice house girl. shop but it's really nice yeah. but she's just got a shop she's having it done up but obviously because with the corona virus and um, that's kind of delayed everything that she was doing so she's just managing to get back on her feet now and get everything back up and running so hopefully the shop will be open soon she's not too sure what she's going to do with the house now whether she's going to rent it or do something else with it i'm not sure anyway i'm gonna go and eat because i'm rambling on and then we're gonna head to vms quickly then we're gonna go and get dad something to eat we want dad's now because we were starving and i really needed a drink dad's would have been cold by the time yeah and dad's would have been cold by the time we get home that's a great thing because like wherever we go there's like there's Mc a yeah there's always like a mcdonald's situated probably like 10 15 minutes apart i don't know We've literally got one here, one ten minutes, minutes away at B&M's and then you cross over and there's one there, isn't there? So there's like an L shape and then the next one's town. And then where's no, the next one? one at oh yeah, then there's one at Ashton. One at B&M's. There's one at... There's one at the, the, the cinemas. Yeah. With KFC and Frankie's and Benny's and Five Guys and everything like that. And then the next one... Well, Bel Telly is gone now. They've just gone out of business, so you'll never see a Bella unless there. somebody buys it out. Um, we only you ever went, went once, yeah, with um, Daz and Naomi yeah. um, for my birthday. It was so nice in there. It was probably I've the best Italian place I've eaten at. It looked dead nice in there. Um, so I'm pretty gutted, actually, because it was funny because we were talking the other day and I said to Dave, I so can't wait for the shops to open just so I can go to Bella Italia. And then he, messaged, he came in last night and he went, there is no Bella Italia anymore. It's gone. I was like, oh my god. Of all the places I picked to go and eat, it's gone. No, I do want to go. Frankie's and Benny's. I know, but Frankie and Benny's have changed so much now. I know. They don't do like... I think it's gone more like a pizza place and stuff like that. Remember the... Um... <laughs> Why are you looking at Virgo like that? <laughs> is that just red sauce? Why yeah, and mustard. Remember the um the garlic bed thing? Is it cheese? Oh yeah, when we used to go in, we used to get a chip, a cheese, garlic. Is it garlic and cheese? I think it was a cheesy garlic bread. Yeah. And oh my god, it's to die for. It was so nice. I'm sure lots of you have had it. In. When I get home, Why don't you put that down for a minute, darling, and have something to eat because then your your tummy will feel so much better. Yeah. Anyway, we've got to go and eat the food, and then we'll check in with you guys once we get over to B and M's. All right, guys, I'm over here at the studio. I'm just about to head out now over to Tesco's. Pick up the boys some tea. Sarah's already done the girls' tea at home, so I'm just gonna nip into Tesco's now. I think I'm gonna get them ribs, corn on the cob, and um, a few other bits and then um, I'm gonna settle down for the evening. So I think Sarah's been busy doing the rest of the cabinets. I'm gonna get over there now, check out what she's been up to, and then hopefully the weather's gonna to turn tomorrow so uh, we can have a, a decent day. I think I'm gonna go over to my mum's tomorrow. Uh, I'm not too sure who we take it yet. Whoever we take tomorrow, we'll take the others a week after because you can't have more than like four people over at my mum's. 
So we're gonna have to take either the girls or the boys, and then next week we'll take the boys or the girls, vice versa. So I'm gonna head over to Tesco's, then I'm gonna be back home and check in on Sarah and the girls. Okay guys, thought that we'd check in just quickly, even though I look like I've just been in a boxing match with Mike Tyson. I haven't. Friends have just started checking in halfway through this vlog. I've had me lip filler done today and for some reason it has bruised so bad. I think it's because I've not had it done for a couple of years. And the other reason it probably could be is because if you've not had a lot of sleep, your body kind of knows when you have it done. So that's why you can bruise a lot more easier. And I've not, I've probably been having about three hours a night. Could have been going to bed at stupid o'clock and then Aurora's been waking up at like five which has just been a complete nightmare. So please excuse the lips looking like this, but you know what? The things we do to look gorgeous, you know. Anyway, we're just playing in Aurora's toy room. Well, trying to in this little space that we have. She's got so much stuff in here now and I think we need to get rid of some of it or make a bit of a toy corner at the studio. So when we go there, she's got some stuff. So. I think I'm going to sort some stuff out and... What you got? Ah, ah. She's obsessed with the wipes and she pulls it. Ah. Bring them here to mama. Thank you. So I think I'm going to sort some stuff out and take it there. I think I might... She did get this for her first birthday. But to be fair, she's not interested in it anymore. So I'm not too sure what to do with it. Whether to give it to the nursery down the road or whether to just put it in the garden and buy a cover for it to go in like a bag or something and then when she's out there she can play a bit out there because there's just no space in here for it anymore so but yeah she she every now and again she'll play with it but it's not something that she'll go out to all the time she loves playing with like musical things and um like this every now and again she'll play with this but she's not really interested in that anymore so I've just kept that to go outside when it's sunny so like Kai can play with it and then obviously we're going to have a granddaughter soon so it won't be long before she's crawling around and playing as well so probably just keep that for her um, but that's why I don't really want to get rid of this but I think I would buy her a new one anyway because this has gone a bit because she's through like drink all over it it's gone a bit yucky on it like side warping at the top so what are you doing gorgeous girl oh you're getting your elephant you're going to prove me wrong now, aren't you? And start playing with it. Aren't you? Is that what you're going to do? Oh no, she likes climbing on it. What are you doing? Excuse me? Since when was that for climbing on? <coughs> eh? <laughs> She's put the elephant down here so she can stand on it so she can get on there. What are you doing? Um, what are you doing? Mm. What are you doing now? Mm. Eh? Mm. Seriously, I'm sure you should have been a boy. You're so dangerous. Oh, is it a seat? So it's not a toy, it's a seat. And the camera is flickering again because you're silly lying. Is it a chair now? Eh? Excuse me? Tell the guys what you're doing. What you're doing? Mm. Playing. Is it a chair? I don't think it's a chair. I don't think it's a chair. Do you cheat her? Mm. Eh? Aurora? Do you love me? Do you love me? Good girl. I love you too. You want me to get you down now? Come on then. Come here. You'll have to wait. I'll have to get hold of you. Come on then. Ooh. Wait. Oh. There you go. Oh, say hi to the guys. Say hi. Say hi. Wave. Oh, show me how you clap hands. Clever girl. Clever girl. No. You having a sulk? Yay, clever girl. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you. Anyway, like I said, 
we're just gonna tidy this up a bit play in here for a little bit and then i will show you the unit that started painting yesterday and let you see how we're coming along with that and oh my god i'm so glad that we did it so i was gonna go and put some makeup sorry i'm just the camera out i was gonna go and put some makeup on today but i think i'm just gonna leave my face today and yeah because i just want to get in the shower later wash my hair clean my face and not putting makeup on because to be honest I know I can't be bothered I'm just having one of them days where everything seems to stress me out like literally every single thing so are we gonna play eh oh what you got <laughs> what you got Want me to do it for ya? Woo! Oh, shaky mama! <laughs> you do it. You do it. Oops. Everything's falling over. <gasps> Press it. Yay! This is how many toys are in here, like, we're literally sitting around the little space that we can get in. Aren't we? Dog. Show him your dog. Where's your dog? Look. Oh, we have this doggy in it. Come walk. Katty, watch the doggy walk. Woo, this doggy is so clever. Do you love your doggy? Do you love it? Don't kick your doggy. Where are you going now? Are you leaving me again? Mm -hmm. Give me a hug then. Give me a hug. Oh, why are you pulling my hair? Oops. Give me a kiss. You're going to give me a kiss? Mm -hmm. I love you so much. <laughs> She's so funny. Anyway, you think we should um, do some cleaning? Well, try in this tiny little space. What? <coughs> really? I'm trying to catch her like saying she calls mom at the top of her voice. <coughs> Capture it on camera, she probably won't do it. Mom, you want to get me all your toys? Are you going to come sit in there and play with Mama? Oh, where have you got there, Upsy Daisy? Where's Upsy Daisy? Can I give her a kiss? Can I give her a kiss? Are you going? Bye! It's so fun. Oh, I'm going to cry in here on my own now. Oh, bye! Oh, you're leaving me on my own. She's locked the door now because she thinks I'm crying and she can't get me. Oh, 
Oh, you're so lovely, aren't you? You're so lovely. You love your mama, don't you? You love your mama. I love you so much. I'm a big girl now, aren't you? Hey. I'm a big girl. Bye. I'll go cry if you leave me. I'll go cry if you leave me. <laughs> it's carried on to the next day and I'm about to end today's vlog my hair is just looking ridiculous I went to the barbers actually this morning just quickly and I'm going into the day after but the queue is around the corner just ridiculous so I am going to end today's vlog the day after if you get what I mean do not forget to smash the like button subscribe if you're not already make sure you click the notification bell it does nothing make sure you leave us a comment if you can and we will see you guys tomorrow because we do this every single day